So Jussie Smollett is back in the news. He got indicted <laughs> on charges of the faking that hate crime by, you know, which he said was perpetrated by two white homophobic Trump supporters. Now, finally, the, you know, he's going to get some justice. And the funny thing about it is that uh, this reporter asked a really good question in regards to whether or not he's upset uh, that nobody's been caught since he's saying that he's innocent. You got to see the response. This is hilarious. So Jussie's Jussie's upset. Nobody got caught yet. <laughs> that's like that's like OJ Simpson looking for the real killers. That's like OJ being upset that nobody found out who, who killed his ex-wife and uh, and Ronald Goldman. Oh, this guy, this guy, this guy's got to go down, man. We we gotta sit Jussie Smollett down for like like ten years at least. Ten years. This this guy's a threat to like I said, he's a threat to national security. Uh, public safety. We got. We got to get him out of here. His primary concern is moving on himself. I mean, it's it's really hard to believe that we're all here one year later at the arraignment of this case, well over a year after the incident happened. Yeah, it should have been handled last year. Is he working right now? He, he has various projects. Yes. Okay. The translation. He's not doing anything. He's just sitting on his couch. The guy screwed himself over, man. He really screwed himself over. Nobody's gonna hire him. Nobody. Nobody even wants to touch. This guy, this guy is toxic. You know, you can't go out and do something like that and, and think that it's going to be okay. Even in Hollywood, even by Hollywood standards. Look, it was a publicity stunt, not only to get money, but I think it was bigger than that. I think it was for him to, you know, his political aspirations. He considers himself an activist. And uh, another, my, uh, when I hear activist, I just think somebody with a loud mouth and no idea, but that's neither here nor there. But that's what he was trying to do. He was trying to go on the campaign trail, you know, with the Democrats. He's friends with Kamala Harris and whoever else over there on that side uh, of the political field. And he was going to say that he was a victim of Trump's America. You're going to see him parading around and uh, it didn't work out for him. Too bad. Too bad. He pled not guilty. That's correct. Sorry. Uh, the motion's been filed with the Illinois Supreme Court. The procedure is the court will decide whether to enter a stay. And yeah, they're, they're trying to get it thrown out. They're trying to throw out the double jeopardy argument, but I don't think it's going to work, man. I don't think I don't think they would have went this far if that was even an option. If that was going to happen, I don't think they would have went this far. But they're trying everything. I give them credit, man. I give them credit. They're trying. And whether to accept the motion for supervisory order. And we expect to hear from you soon. That's the next procedure. We've served all the interested parties, so Judge Tuman, as well as all the lawyers and all the parties, have been served with the motion. And we'll see. We'll see what the court does next. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time. No, that's pretty much it. Um, I can't wait to see how this unfolds. The trial is going to be an absolute circus, and I'm going to be there for every moment of it. I can't wait. I hope they throw the book book at him. I can't wait to see this guy go down. What he did was just so stupid. And, you know, he endangered a lot of people, you know, on, on a more serious note. You know, he could have potentially started a small race war by, by what he did. It was very dangerous what he did. And I'm glad that he got caught. So you guys let me know what you think. Like, comment, share, subscribe. It's Mike from Bensonhurst. Keep banging.